Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 25th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the background color attribute that you can use with uh, several elements in HTML. Now this is uh, the table that we constructed in the last tutorial uh, when we met the table tag in HTML and uh, you know it's different in the sense that we have different uh, background colors for the four rows in the table and uh, rest everything is the same the values or the heading or the title so let me show you guys uh, you know the um, code behind the page and this is what it is so you know you have the doc type declaration on line number one and then between the opening and closing html tags you have the head section the body section the body section has uh, the heading for the document on line number seven between the opening and closing h1 tags and the heading is tables in HTML and then you have the uh, table tag on line number eight the border for the table is uh, one pixel in thickness cell padding one pixel cell spacing one pixel and then uh, we have the BG color uh, attribute uh, that I have used with the the first row as well as the other rows actually but then the first row has uh, the value green for the bg color attribute and you know you can use the bg color attribute with the other tags as well so let's say you want to have uh, an orange background you know for the entire page so you know you can use a bg color attribute with the body uh, you know element here so i go to body tag on line number six i'll give a space after the word body type in bg color the equal to symbol and uh, then i'll type in orange here right i'll save the file and i'll refresh it in my browser and there we go we have uh, you know the orange background for the entire page so what i mean to say is that you can use a bg color attribute with a lot of different elements in uh, in 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 html and you can have uh, you know different background colors so uh, let's come back to the table so i have used the bg color attribute with the first row on line number nine and i have given the background color green to the first row and similarly i've given the background color yellow to the second row and uh, you know that is for the tr tag on line number 14 and then i have given the background color blue for the third row i've given the background color uh, uh, pink for the fourth row over here right on line number 24 i have the opening and closing uh, i have the opening tr tag and then i have the closing tr tag for the last row on line number 28 so you know that's it for this tutorial i just wanted to you know um, show you guys that you can change the background color for different parts of your web page uh, by using the bg color uh, attribute and uh, these days mostly people use css to you know change background color and everything and uh, the bg color attribute is not used much actually so you know um, but anyway, this is a feature of HTML, so that's why I discussed it with you. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care.